I'm 100% convinced that if you are drinking water out of a plastic bottle all day, every day, you go and you're spending your money buying these cases of water into your house that have been sitting in a warehouse, they freeze, then they heat up, then they sit in your car, then you're in a house, all in that plastic bottle that you probably have elevated levels of phthalates and BPA all through your system, even though that bottle says it's BPA free. Listen, that plastic, you can even smell it, right? Like you could crack it, crack it, crack it. You could smell that plastic. That plastic leaches out into the water and it disrupts your hormones. It disrupts testosterone. It disrupts, disrupts estrogen. And it introduces into a man's body a fake toxic form of estrogen that your body doesn't know what to do with. And so as great as our bodies are at self-healing and clearing out bad stuff and doing amazing things with the good stuff, when you get too much bad stuff in it, it starts to get kind of clogged up and it stops functioning the way that it should. So um, when I used to run a ton of tests on my patients, it would amaze me sometimes when we would send out the labs to figure out how much BPA, how much plastic byproducts, how much of these forever chemicals would be in their bloodstreams, it would be unbelievable. And um, you see this particularly a lot in pregnant women. I mean, they're, they're, they're drinking out of that, those plastic bottles and then the baby gets here and the baby's breastfeeding and they're getting that plastic bottle into the breast milk. So honestly, you are in a better space if you buy a filter for your sink, for your house, even a pitcher of water, or like a, a filter pitcher that you fill with water and get that and then drink it out of a you know, stainless steel, stainless steel um, flask of some sort. So yes, absolutely. I do believe that plastic is leaching out into our water, whether you buying bottled water or not, it's all through the water. The plastics, you know, have you ever seen those documentaries about how much plastic is in our water sources? There, It's there. So since it's already there and you want to do your best job of filtering it out, don't complicate things by buying a bunch of fake bottled water. Because that bottled water, oftentimes when you really look at the side of it, they are going to a fracking site. Yeah, Nestle is notorious for this. They, so you know what fracking is, right? You, know, you, you fly into LAX and you're driving and you look over and you see all those oil wells going into the ground, right? So what they're doing is they're shooting water down there so that they can extract oil. Well, what happens to that wasted oil, well, wasted water? Well, some genius somewhere said, well, shoot, we don't need to throw this water out. Why don't we filter it, um, you know, and, and sell it back to the people? So put it back in the bottles and we're going to sell it to them and we're going to make millions of dollars off of it. So that bottle of water, if I had, if you ever see me in the streets with a bottle of water, it's because I had no other option. I was thirsty and had to get a, a plastic bottle of water. But believe you me, it took a lot for me to convince the rest of my family, listen, that that bottle of water is fake. They even had to watch a documentary out of it, off of it, that you're much in a much better place if you just filter it and try to control your water yourself. Listen, you can buy a water testing kit, test your water, figure out what's in it that you should be worried about and kind of go from there. But if you don't even want to test it, every water department has to list what's going on with their water in it. So you just log in and kind of see what's happening with your water. EWG.org is a great website to see what condition your water is in your county and in your town. You would be surprised. Sometimes, I, you know, I had, I had a friend that was living far out of Los Angeles and I just happened to look up the address. I said, girl, do you realize that your water system is this bad? It was one of the worst water systems in the country. And she had no idea, wasn't filtering her water or anything like that. So for you, get a nice little water system. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be a whole house situation. Filter as much of the water as you can yourself. And do not rely on those plastic bottles because it's a fraud. It is an absolute fraud. D.B. Douglas says, our Brita water filter container is plastic, though. I know. That's the thing about the Brita water. Brita has a really good filter, but then it's going to sit in that plastic for a little bit of time. So um, I actually know someone who filters their water with the filter and then just stores it in a glass container. You know, like you can actually on Amazon buy these glass um, 
water dispensers and they have a little spigot in them, spigot on them, and you can actually store your filtered water right in there. Um, it's us they're usually too big for your refrigerator, but you can actually store it on the side. They've got stands for it and everything. Water is a whole thing. Yes, invest in your water. Oh, Duke says he didn't know about it. He's been drinking Nestle for years. Honestly, if I'm at, at, at the, at, you know, at the airport, they got that $20 bottle of water. They got the $10 bottle of water and the $5 bottle of water. The $5 bottle of water is usually the Nestle. Um, and so it's tempting to get it. But Nestle is the one, one water that even if I'm parched, I actually will not drink it. Because Nestle has too many, uh, too much history there. So I'm not really sure what's going on with them. Oh, Anthony says, could you refilter the plastic water? Um, you know what? So that's a great question. In my thought process and the way I understand it is that those forever plastic chemicals are really hard to filter out of the water um, because the, even the water that we filter at our house, I mean, is coming in with plastics. There's so much plastic around us that you really can't get away from it. So you could try it. You could plas You could filter it out. But those forever chemicals and the plastics are really hard to get out of the water, um, which is which is the difficult part, right? 